Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Like always, I'm Brian. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and demo of the Auric Dual Bay Hard Drive Docking Station. So pay attention to today's Chanley Style. Starting off with the outside of the box, we have a boatload of features which I'll just copy and paste that into the description down below in case you were interested in that. We have four different model types in two different colors. Mine happens to be the 6628U S3 Tech Charlie Black. And then we have the specs. It's for two, two and a half, or three and a half instead of hard drive docking station. Uh, material is made of plastic. The dimensions are 142 by 122 by 80 millimeters. Supports instead of one, two, and three hard drives. And it is 540 grams. Supports all the way from me to current. Except for Mac is not supported by USB 3.0. And it needs to operate between 0 and 50 degrees Celsius. Alright. Pretty simple outside of a box. Let's see what we got inside. Now honestly I expected this to be smaller. But man this thing's pretty big. Got a start button for uh, I'm assuming is the clone, USB 3.0, PC or clone, and then the power, the flexible door, and one and two, and then the bottom. Pretty decent rubber feet, don't have to worry about sliding off the desk. Alright, set that aside. Inside we have power converter, power cord, and extremely short USB 3.0. That'll be That's going to be a chore running that down into my computer. This might this thing might have to sit on the floor. Uh, let's see further inside we have We'd love to hear more from you. Support. Oh, it's like a nice business card plus support. And it's got a little fold so you can have it sit on your desk, it's all pretty. And then a user's manual. That's in Japanese. Please have English. Okay, English is in the front. And pretty much everything I already said. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and demo this thing. Here I have two incredibly different laptops. The one on the right is Windows 8.1 and the one on the left is Windows 7 Pro. I am actually going to be cloning the one on the left and installing the extra hard drive in the one on the right just to demo the cloning capability of this hard drive bay. Now that I'm to this point, I just want to point out the fact that I have an SSD and a regular laptop hard drive. I'm hoping that I will be able to test the ability or whether or not this thing can clone onto SSDs because that was one of the questions someone asked when I posted a picture on Twitter. So we'll find out right now. had to go in and uh, actually format this hard drive before I could start. But this is how the cloning process works. In hard drive slot 1 is going to be your origin hard drive. Or the original hard drive you're using. Hard drive bay 2 is going to be the 
one that's empty or that you're going to clone it to. Next thing you need to do is once this is formatted, if it's a brand new hard drive like this one is, you need to go to the back, flip it to clone, and then hit the start button. This indicates that this is cloning. One thing that needs to be noted is that the the target hard drive has to be the same size or larger than the original hard drive. So if you guys are trying to take like your three terabyte hard drives and clone them to an SSD, that's not going to work. You have It has to be bigger on this side. So unfortunately, if you're trying to just move your OS to an SSD from your massive storage hard drive, then that's not going to happen. I apologize if anyone thought that was what this could do. But that's, that's the... Uh, Price of learning. At the end of this, though, it should let off a tone to let us know that it's done. So, now we wait. Holy crap, an hour and a half to clone 200 gigabytes? There should have been a warning label on this thing saying find something else to do or get a hobby while this thing clones. <sighs> I'm definitely not going back and doing that without proper planning. <laughs> that was painful having to wait for that. So if you've got three terabytes worth of stuff to clone, just plug it in hit the clone button, come back in like a day and a half, and probably point a fan at that thing, because it was getting really hot. In retrospect, I wish I would have realized that Lenovo has such an integrated system that putting any different kind of hard drive in it would not work, so I couldn't show you two computers with the same exact situation. So I just showed you that the two different hard drives in the same computer worked out the same. It was properly cloned. I spent about half an hour testing it. It saved all my information, all my hot links in my web browsers, and uh, had all the music, and every playlist saved in iTunes. Just, it was, it was a perfect clone. One thing I wish the instructions would have said, do not plug this in when you're cloning the hard drive. It said it online after I looked it up, but these, but these garbage instructions that are mostly in Chinese, freaking useless. Don't even don't even look at that book if you buy this thing. Go online. There's better instructions from the actual website that makes this. So why the website's good and the piece of paper is bad, I'm just calling that bad quality assurance. Other than that, I'm really happy with this thing it's it's gonna serve a purpose and it's gonna do a good job even if it's gonna take an hour and a half to clone 200 gigabytes of information you guys know the drill like thumbs down facebook twitter twitch thanks for checking out um how to clone a hard drive chanley style